I'm here today with SRAM's Danny Lattigan, who's going to tell us about some exciting new product developments in SRAM's Force ETAP Axis range. Yeah, so it's been just about more than a year now since we launched the Force ETAP Axis group set. Um, people have been asking for it and it's finally here. And now we're launching an extension to the range. Um, so it comes in two parts. So if we kind of work from the front of the bike to the back, um, we've got a slightly lower gear range on the chainring set, so 4330 chainring. Um, and this has also got a slightly wider stance on the um, kind of where the chainring sits in comparison with the frame. That is more to put the front derailleur slightly wider away from the, from the rear tire. So generally, you know, as gravel bikes or all road bikes get um, you know, more popular, what tire size also goes up a little bit. So now it's not uncommon to see a 700 by 45 uh, C tire on a, on a gravel bike. You know, one of the issues that you will run into is that that tire sits awfully close to the, to the front derailleur. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've moved the front derailleur outboard by 2.5 millimeters. So the overall kind of spindle length uh, on the crank is five millimeters longer. So all of that moves the chain rings and the front derailleur 2.5 millimeters further away from the center of the frame. Um, so you get a lot more clearance uh, for, the, for the tire. So on the rear of the bike, we've also got a new cassette size. Um, so it's a 10 up to a 36 tooth cassette. It still fits onto the XDR driver body. Mm -hmm. um, and then to go with that cassette, we've got a new rear derailleur, um, which goes up to a maximum of 36 teeth. Um, you can still use this new 36 max derailleur on the smaller cassette, so the 1033 or then the 1028. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is the specific cassette to use with this wider range cassette. And just to be clear on that, the new chain set and front derailleur is also specific with each other so those yes, products yeah, are designed yeah. so to work you can kind of pair those two together always so if you want to use that crank you have to use the wide front derailleur um, and to make it easy to distinguish between them we've got uh, wide written onto the the front of the derailleur and then also on the spindle um, we've got the wide written on there so uh -huh. it's really you know easy to to distinguish between the normal non-wide variant and then the wide variant and then same goes for the cassette uh, and the, the rear derailleur. So on the rear derailleur, we've got this Max 36 teeth mm -hmm. um, that you know tells you that that is the, the correct derailleur to use with this wider range cassette. Uh, something else that you'll notice is that we've got a new finish on the crank as well. So it's this gloss finish. Um, it's the same finish that we have on the brake levers on force. Um, so it's this kind of high gloss finish and that's on, on the crank arms as well as on the outer link of the, the rear derailleur. Um, so it just kind of ties in a bit better with the, the overall look of the, you know, the, the levers. Gives really high-end uh, gloss finish on there. So Danny, with the, the new cassette, um, something we hear time and time again is people focusing on like the jumps in between the sprockets and the ratios. So yeah. tell me a little bit about what you've, what you've done with the ratios on this new design. Yeah, so we've not lost that. Um, when we introduced the X-Range gearing with uh, red ETEP axis and then force ETEP axis, one of the big uh, focus points was that the, the small differences between the gears at the bottom part of the cassette. So this sure. is no different really. We still have one tooth differences between the bottom four sprockets on the rear, yeah. and then it gets progressively uh, bigger towards the, the bigger side of the, the cassette. So that's really important, you know, when you're in a, a group ride and you want to keep the cadence consistent. Um, those small one tooth differences is, is super important. Definitely at the smaller end of the, the sprocket size as well. That's yeah. where it's most important to Definitely, have those, yeah. those short jumps. You know, and, and also on the front of the, the, the chain ring sizes, we've still got that 13 tooth difference between the two uh, chain rings. Mm -hmm. um, so when you do do a front shift, it's less disruptive in your pedaling speed. So, you know, when you change gear at the front, you will only need to do say a one or two uh, gear change at the back to compensate for the, for the change in cadence on the front. Well, thanks, Danny, for all that information. That's really no good. Problem. And uh, I've been lucky enough to get some, some miles on this uh, new kit ahead of the launch. So uh, if you click in the link below, you'll be able to see my comments from my first ride review uh, and more information. Thanks very much.